people, Christy Salem. Gene Simmons says it best when he says, now follow along, I'll put the words at the bottom of the screen. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well, all right. This is a heavy metal must have experience. Check this out. We're talking Judas Priest and Unleashed in the East. Now, way back in the 70s, because I was neck deep in research for this show, <clears throat> I would only give you the best quality, the best value, the bullet points. This way, when you listen to the album, you're going to really enjoy the experience. Oh, people, let me enhance your experience. Check it out. Three iconic live albums came out in the 70s. That's right, only three. Kiss Alive. Kiss! Cheap Trick, Live at Budokan. <laughs> Unleashed in the East by Judas Priest. Yeah. Oh, people, this was their first live album. And it introduced Judas Priest basically to the whole known world at the time introduced the music, the heavy metal, the hard sound. I mean, can you imagine people back then cranking up the song Hellbent for Leather, how heavy that was? And we think stuff is heavy nowadays. Funny, isn't it? And people, this album also introduced that black leather S&M look. And Judas Priest delivered on that look. It was so new, it was so fresh, it was so unique. And people, this young, hungry band Judas Priest influenced a whole upcoming generation of musicians. People, that's legacy, that's clout. So this was recorded on the Hell Bent for Leather Tour, 1979, and it was in Japan. And people, it became their first best-selling album. Horns up to Judas Priest. It was certified platinum. People, that's a lot of people buying that record back then. People over the course of all these years since it came out, there's been this big debate. Is the album really live? Is it not live? Has it been doctored up? Excellent question. No, it's not. Who cares? The playground antics. This album is a heavy metal must have experience. The set list kills. Two of my favorites is The Ripper and Victim of Changes. This is Rob Glenn. KK, Ian, and Les at their finest, at their youngest, at their most ferocious. Not to say they're not ferocious in general. At that age, at that hunger level, just starting out, taking on the world. People, that was Judas Priest. People in this album checks all the, all the boxes. It's heavy, it's metal, of course. It's got black leather. It's got a certain kind of ferocity to it. When you hear Rob Halford sing, people, I mean, this is just pure talent. This is an artist from the soul. And then you listen up to Glenn and to KK, people, there was no such thing as a dual guitar players before Judas Priest. I know some might argue with me on that, but heavy metal brilliance, live, raw energy. People, you gotta check out a couple of these songs. These are like just all time favorites. First one is called Diamonds and Rust. Let, let's head bang together. We both know what memories can bring. They bring diamonds and rust. Yes, we both know what Yeah, isn't that a killer song, people? People, check out this track called The Green Man I can't believe that she need my love so bad. Whoa, isn't that something? This is how people used to headbang. I know, I googled it. Yeah, isn't that something? Oh, people, it was a pleasure to do a show on this subject of Unleashed in the East. A pleasure, people, to give you the bullet points, to see you go and turn it on on whatever music platform you have and just enjoy it all the more. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe because I got a lot of cool shows coming up. <clears throat> And if you went a little bit more Judas Priest, check out my episodes I did. <clears throat> like this one, and this one, and this one. And people, stay tuned. Stay tuned into me, people. Don't, let's not get lost. I've got brand 
new photos of Judas Priest to show you. And these were taken by the premier heavy metal photographer here in the Midwest. A company called, a very small company, but a very powerful company called JTH Productions. <clears throat> Stay with me, check out these photos. <laughs> Well, there it is, people. I took you back to 1979 on Unleashed in the East when they were young and they had a different kind of hunger. And then I brought you all the way to today, people, to today. This is a legend act. When Judas Priest plays, we stand up. People, and they're still firing on all cylinders, they're still hungry. Horns up to Judas Priest. We both know what memories can bring me, bring down and 